Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your Practice Production Pearl of the Week. We're gonna to talk today about the power of financial options. Now I know you have financial options and you know you have financial options and your staff knows you have financial options, but do your patients know that you have financial options? And we're gonna look at this in a traditional way and then in a new way. So let's start with traditional. The traditional factor of financial options was to give patients easier methods to pay for treatment, especially if they can't afford it. What we have found at Levine Group is that most patients who take advantage of some type of patient financing typically cannot afford it. Now, the problem was or challenge that dentists generally didn't like doing it because you had to give up part of your fee. And that's a reality. And with dental insurance already decreasing our fees in many cases, giving up another six or 7% can feel painful. So ultimately you have to decide, are you willing to have that discounted fee or in many cases not do the case at all? It's not as if the patient says, well, I could pay for it up front, but I'll take the financing. The patient simply says, I'll put it on hold and think about it and maybe never get back to you. So I'm a fan of advising that patient financing should be a standard part of your financial options. Now it's always best if a patient pays you up front or puts it on a credit card, which by the way, costs you two to 3% as well. But patient financing, traditionally, we need to go beyond that feeling of, but look what I'm giving up versus look what I'm gaining because there's still a lot of profit in that case even if you add patient financing, unless you're in a dental insurance plan that is just horrific in the reimbursements, and there are some of those out there. Now, the new factor that I wanna tell you about is telling every patient on the phone that financing is available, including your new patients. Because when they hear that you have financing, all of a sudden they develop this great confidence to be willing to make the appointment, to show up for it, and to accept recommended treatment. So we clearly are proponents of patient financing as one of those stimulation factors that will increase your practice production. The other factor is when you're presenting treatment, try telling the patient at the beginning that there are financial options available. Now don't get into detail, don't give them the fee, but this opens their mind to thinking about having treatment rather than at the end, just tuning out basically, and at the end telling you they're not gonna do it because they didn't really pay attention, they didn't think they could afford it, and by the time you get to financial options, it's late in the game and they've already made up their mind. So our message today is if you want to increase practice production, you wanna do a better job of implementing and communicating patient financing. As always, I wish you ongoing practice success and increased practice production.